Hi everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmatov. Hope you're staying safe. Sometimes you get into the situation where you're trying to print something like N, which is extracted from a page, and notice that it actually doesn't print anything. And this is a common question that comes again and again for people who just are in with Cypress. The answer why N is not printed is because Cypress queues up all the commands that it finds to be executed later. So everything you see, like sci-visit, sci-get, all these commands, when sci-log, they all are queued up with their arguments, and then they start running. It's almost like creating a series of instructions for someone, giving it to them, and then they follow. It's not uh, async uh, you know, execution where each command executes, stops, executes, stops, gets n after it executes, then stops, then executes scilog. No, scilog is called first. Now, I've been explaining how this works and that the solution is to always use the variables that you get from the page or from the network from inside that then callback, because when they execute, right, the value is already known. But I was tired of explaining it, and I decided that it's better to show it. Instead of saying every command will be enqueued one by one and then they start executing and if you have a then callback then those commands will be inserted into the chain of commands it's better to show how this works and we can do it because if we open the console we can add event listeners we can say cypress on command enqueued and there is command started command ended but Whenever Cypress actually sees the command like say visit, say get, it can give you an, uh, an event. So we can say uh, add it to the queue and then command name. And let's print the actual command object so we can see everything that's inside. Okay, so for example, add it to the queue visit and visa parameters to the visit with arguments of the URL. Add it uh, to the queue command get. You know, here's a selector everything including added to the queue log and look what it has as arguments at that particular moment like right now before anything starts executing it has a string number and n which is undefined now that queue sits there but look at the command log it only shows the currently executed commands and the previous command it never never tells you how the commands were queued up and what the arguments were and you can see that the timing of queuing and the values of the command arguments is crucial to understand what is about to happen and why something doesn't work how you expect it to work. This is why I decided to use these event listeners and visualize Cypress command chain or Cypress command queue. So here's how we will do it. From my project, I will install Cypress command chain which is uh, npm package that I just published. So let's install it. And from the spec or from the support file, we can say Cypress command chain. Okay, so we have our current project and now we just import Cypress command chain. And notice what has happened. And I'll just zoom in a little bit. Every time there's a new command in queued, it gets added to this Cypress command queue and it's visualized. It has commands that are about to execute and it and it has commands that are executed. Every time it runs, it's kind of fast right now. Let me add a couple of waits. So let's say wait, let's say for a second right here and maybe wait for two seconds here and maybe you know, wait for two seconds here. Notice all the com commands are queued up and when it executes command by command, shows you which one it executes, shows you assertion. So this explains what's going on. It even warns me when some of the arguments to the commands have a value of undefined because that tells me I'm doing something wrong, right? So when it enqueues the command of log, right, it passes the number and undefined. And if I move the undefined or like the log into the then, look what happens. The initial queue will get all the way to the then callback then it will enqueue log and at that moment the n will be uh, available will be set so now everything runs correctly so you can have as many commands you can play with them 
everything is showing in this Cypress command chain. So you can see what's going on under the hood of the Cypress test run. Take it for a spin. Let me know what you see. If there are any shortcomings, open and issues. And I hope you find this uh, plugin to make what is going on under the hood of Cypress really obvious and clear.